Former first round pick in 2015 will bring it up. Behind the back, here's Samuels from Villanova with his left. And he's got the first four points for the Mad Ants. Driving baseline, Samuels and one. At eight points with a chance to go to the line for a three point play. Well, I think Miller's got to play him more for the drive. And Scoot and Jenkins seems like they're really getting some chemistry playing well together. Jenkins coming off a performance where he had 25 points. Here's Anderson. He is just too tough off the backboard and one. I think both with Anderson and with Samuels, when you're guarding. Jenkins in the paint will kick out to Sané. Sissoko, he will take a try from three and he makes it. CD Sissoko. King run off that three-point line, takes the bump, and makes it. Mojave King. The key thing on this is watch him keep his head up. He keeps his head up, he picks up the basket, and is able to finish. Raised that lefty jumper, uh, looking so smooth. The ball movement is nice today. McKnight with their first lead of the game. And he is now starting to find something special. Cam Young from deep, short, rebound goes to York. Here's Brown in transition, and he will lay it in as the Mad Ants tie it up at 38. Oh, Shisoko puts it into it with the exclamation mark. King misses the free throw. Ignite trail by nine here at early moments of the second quarter. Oh my, Gabe York, what the highlight! Yeah, they did, but then sometimes they get distracted and go away from some things that are good for them. Henderson coming away, two on two, and it's Henderson taking it himself. First bucket of the third quarter goes to Ignite. There's Miller getting on the floor. Sissoko, too, coming away with the steal for Ignite. Needs some help, and he's got Graves. Jenkins from the elbow. Cash. Jenkins has 21 points to lead all scorers. Stockton driving. Here's York cutting extra passes to Brooks in the corner. Knocks down the three ball. Sissoko slipping free underneath, lays it in at the rim. CD Sissoko. And Samuels, a free pass to the rim. Henderson backdoor caught in the air, finds Jenkins up and under. John Jenkins. Cut off by Graves. Ignite have numbers, three on two. Jenkins throws it up to Miller, who throws it down. This is a different team to start this second half. It, defensively, he's done a good job of picking up and making stops. Stockton turning the corner, finds an open game. York knocked down. Pick and roll back to Samuels. That has been the play causing Ignite problems all day. York cut off by Johnson, and they call the reach in foul. What do I have to do? He, he goes right at him. He just kind of flicks at the ball. I don't think there's any contact. York with a one-leg fadeaway. <laughs> Everything he puts up seems to go in. Even on the miss, though, he just seems a little more confident with the shot. Without question. And the man ants are doing a really good job of riding the shooter off. Oh, Samuels with the power finish. King lowers his shoulder. And Samuels with the denial. Brown denied by Young. Pell on the rebound. Ten seconds on the shot clock, but Young swoops it away. Well, it really is. The NBA has always been a part of it, has always been one of the leaders in it. And even John, you oh. remember this back when they had the summit. This game is such a universal game, and it touched so many people's lives. Basketball beyond borders.
Brooks with the pump fake finds Anderson, another pump fake. Lowers that right shoulder and finishes with the left hand. Man, I love the intensity Marcus Graves plays with. Inbound is to Anderson, and he is fouled. I think guys have gotten better with it. I think certainly it's made the G League very, very competitive and very good. Miller knocks down the jumper. Graves the pump fake, finds the cutting, Sané! What a no-look pass by Stockton to Anderson! So after that pause in the action, Fort Wayne will inbound. Here's Mojave King, and it's showtime! Stockton with his 19th assist. He's going for a 20-piece in assist today. Schuler to Samuels off the mark, re steal. Dawkins going the other way, and Johnson lays it in. Shot clock turned off, under 10 seconds to play. Young with the free pass, and that'll do it. It was tied after one, and then they took off in the second quarter. Our final score, Fort Wayne 141, NBA G League Ignite 119. Fort Wayne will improve to 4-3 and three on the season. Ignite will fall to 500 at 5-5. Five